How's everybody out there doing in YouTube land? This is Lloyd from Gigatons.com and I'm going to bring you a brief walkthrough of the Motorola Atrix 4G from AT&T. This is the first device offered in the US that has a dual core processor with one gig of RAM. This device also has 16 gigs of onboard memory <clears throat> as well as a 4 inch display front facing camera and it has a 5 megapixel camera that shoots high definition video in 720p. <clears throat> this device is very nice, it's snappy. Um, as you can see when I'm scrolling through here, it's very, uh, very responsive. When I click on an application, it opens instantly. And I know people always tell you that stuff opens instantly on these phones and these reviews, but this, I, got, I, I can guarantee you once you get your hands on this thing, you'll see for yourself that everything is blazingly fast. There's my contacts back to the home screen. And there's the browser. You know, really fast. You know, as I scroll through, pinch and zoom, everything is really, you know, smooth, fast, and fluent. The Motorola Atrix features a TFT capacitive touchscreen with 16 menu colors with five. 40, 540 by 960 pixels on a foreign screen. Um, the screen is really awesome. Uh, I think it's a real step up from all the previous Motorola devices out there, um, like the Droid X and the Motorola Droid even. Um, the, the display is definitely an upgrade from Motorola's previous devices. That being said, I don't think it's much of an upgrade when you compare it to a Retina display or the Samsung Galaxy S display. Pixel density wise, this display is probably nicer than the Samsung Galaxy S display, but color wise and, and contrast wise, it's probably not as good as the Samsung Galaxy S. So it's a toss up between this Samsung Galaxy S display and uh, Motorola's new display that they put on uh, the Atrix 4G. Um, overall, I really like the display. I think it's awesome. You can see the text really clear, um, you know, as I zoom in and show you here. Everything's very crisp and clear. The colors are, don't seem to be as rich as they would be on a Galaxy S or a Retina display even, but it is nice. The Motorola Atrix features a front facing camera. I think one, the probably the first Android device featured on AT&T to have a front facing camera, as well as a five megapixel camera that shoots HD video in 720p. The Motorola Atrix features a 720p HD video camera that comes with some pretty nice bells and whistles. You can manage what kind of mic setting you want to use, as well as effects, a video light, front facing camera, and you have access to the stills camera from this menu, menu setting. It's kind of annoying that it keeps going away without me uh, tapping it back. That's a little annoying, but that's just a minor, that's just something really minor that really won't get on anybody's nerves, I don't think. The Motorola Atrix 4G features a fingerprint scanner. This is nice. Um, this is a very nice feature, um, security feature that they've added to this phone to make it very unique. Um, it really stands out to me. Now, to unlock the phone or to put it to sleep, you press in a button. This is a button. To open it up, you press the button again. or And you can use your PIN code that you program in when you initially set up the fingerprint recognition. The phone's unlocked. Now, if you want to just do fingerprint recognition without the pin code, you open, you wake the phone up and swipe your finger across the back and there you are, your, your phone's unlocked, which is a really sweet feature. Size wise, in comparison to the iPhone 4, the Atrix 4G is pretty close to being as thin as the iPhone 4. And there we are. You can see both of them there together pretty thin device build quality is really nice um I don't know I think it's I'm pretty sure it has a glass front um, plastic back but it feels really solid in the hand it doesn't feel hollow or cheap or plasticky very nice build Motorola and AT&T have been telling this is a 4G device um I've been getting pretty 
average speeds. Um, the first test I did, I got 1.7 megs down and 329 kilobits up. On the second test, I got I, I fared a little better. I got 3.3 megs down and 385 kilobits up. So I mean, it, you get pretty good speeds. I mean, I won't say that it's just blowing the doors off of everything out there in terms of 4G speeds or so-called 4G speeds, but it is decent. Um, I wouldn't say it's better than the iPhone 4 or um, any other AT&T 3G enabled smartphone. You can get that out there in terms of speeds, but it is fast. So your your 4G coverage or HSPA plus coverage is gonna be dependent on where you are and how great your AT&T coverage is. The Atrix 4G uh, features um, Standard micro USB uh, for charging and data transfer, as well as an HDMI port. Um, Motorola and AT&T were nice enough to include an actual HDMI cable. And, um, I really think that that's nice. I really find it hard to find these cables if for a decent price in any electronic store. So for them to actually include the HDMI cable with this phone was really nice.